Rob are changing mindsets at their first ever UK open house. A huge congratulations to you, Lewis. You've done it. Yeah, thank you, Lindsay. Here we are. It's obviously our first UK showroom. We've been here 33 years in two different locations, up purely just offices. Now we've got the space to grow. We've got a showroom. We've got our first open house opening this week. Um, yeah, and we're ready for the future. Why did you need to do this? We see our products as a technical sale, so we call this not our showroom, it's our technical application centre. So we can bring our customers here, bring their products here, prove their products on our machines. So we've got the, the not the full range of machines, but we've got a range of machines that's uh, four axis machines, five axis machines, mill turn machines that we can offer uh, to the customer base of the UK really. The components that we make predominantly are in the aerospace sector, so aluminium uh, airframe components, but we're also in the medical device sector, so we have a mix of materials. And the types of issues that we see at the moment is largely driven around the availability of uh, good quality uh, uh, operators. So what we're focusing really on in our move towards automation is people who can provide a turnkey solution so that we can minimise the amount of operator input but still have a really reliable product at the end and that's part of the reason why I'm here today at Crop. The components we make are quite bespoke. Um, they are unique in their own fashion and the Grob machines in particular with their interparallelation turning allows us to do features that our competitors just simply can't do. We can do raised gasket faces, turned radius features in places that people couldn't dream of, but because of the way the machine is configured, we can now do that. Um, we, you know, we're making valve bodies five at a time, we can leave it running all day, all night, and the parts come off completely finished, whereas previously there'd be so many other operations to complete them. It's a fantastic, unique concept, the uh, Grob G550T, which we have on site at Seco. Uh, we never know what's coming through the door, so we need a machine that's massively versatile, flexible, stable and powerful. One of the unique features about the Grob that's great for us is you can have the maximum length of tool with a maximum size of workpiece. And to be able to have that versatility and agility and flexibility to be able to do that, which is very rare in the machine tool world, is an absolute win for us. Well, we've been working with Grob for a number of years now. Uh, we've got one of their machines at our facility in Birmingham. We've got the G350 as well, so that we can support Grob's customers as well as our customers with, with offline trials and offline machining facilities. And we've got a, a global partnership as well, that we, we've got a, a subsidiary just outside Grob's Mindelheim plant as well. So we've got a good global partnership as well. While I'm on this little bit of a trip that I'm on, including the visit to Grob, it's about expanding our mindset and about looking at different opportunities in order to be competitive, in order to reduce our cycle times, and in order to give the service to the customer, we need to think differently. And I think that the, the systems that Grob have developed here are you know, really, I suppose, pushing the envelope in terms of uh, the machining capabilities, and that's the type of thing that we really need to be looking at. So as a company, we invested in the Grob G750 for swarf clearance and removal um, and deep hole drilling. And for us, it's really revolutionized how we do our processes now.
Actually, the underside machining doesn't scare me at all. Um, it's one of the big draws of the machine, actually. Um, accessibility of the part, uh, swarf evacuation, and the, the tunnel spindle concept um, is great for sort of getting big, long tools into a, you know, a, quite a compact uh, working area. I'm going to be honest, one of the unique things about Grob, which I, I'm going to be blunt about it, I didn't get at first, was how the bed goes to the spindle and not the spindle goes to the bed. It's a bit of a weird concept, but actually when you look on how it works, and in particular with this thing here, it's actually, it, it's brilliant. It's a lot more versatile and a lot more malleable as to what you want to do and how you want to do it. I mean, it's also a lot faster. Uh, last year in the UK was our highest order intake. Um, this year looks like we're going to surpass that as well. And we order intake that we've already got, we can see the next five years we're busy in the UK. So we're here and we're here today.